The state's southeast is under siege from the deadly red fire ant, with biosecurity teams at the forefront of the fight to wipe out the deadly pest. But now an expert report obtained by the ABC calls for federal government spending on eradication programs to be doubled to stop the ant spreading. From Ipswich, science reporter Jake Sturmer. Willow, this fire ant detection dog, has a nose for trouble. She's uncovered thousands of red fire ants, which are swarming out. They might be tiny, but they can kill people, pets and livestock. Biosecurity staff don't have long to flood the colony with poison. How quickly do the ants move to protect the queen? Uh, very, very quickly. So half of them would swarm out to attack whoever's doing this, and the other half would try to carry her along the tunnel. Since the ants arrived at the port of Brisbane in 2001, authorities have struggled to contain the pest. There's no doubt that the ants will keep spreading slowly, I mean, even despite our battles. Ipswich Mayor Paul Pizzali has watched the ants take over his city. We're doing everything right and it doesn't seem to having any effect. The other thing is that Leslie Park at Goodna, we had to close it because it became so bad and young kids were getting bitten by these aggressive little creatures. Right now, the ants are confined to here in Ipswich and southeast Queensland, but they can thrive almost anywhere in Australia. And experts warn this is a major national problem. An expert report prepared for the federal government warns now is the time to ramp up efforts to eradicate the pest. This report shows that the impacts of red fire ants, if allowed to spread, will exceed the combined impacts of all of our current feral animals, the cane toads, the feral cats, the wild dogs, the camels. So the, the impacts are enormous. State and federal agriculture ministers will discuss whether to increase funding in May next year. And for many living, or soon to be living, with fire ants, that decision can't come soon enough. Jake Sturmer, ABC News, Ipswich.